Um, can you tell us what the last few days, or I guess the last week or so has been like for you from getting drafted to getting over here and getting to Vegas? Like what has life looked like for you in the last few days? Yeah, it was it was tough for sure because after the workouts, I went back home uh, to be with my family and just watch draft with them. Uh, and it was really late uh, back home. It started at like 2 a.m. Uh, and the first round, first round goes for like three hours. So I, I basically I stayed up all night and then couldn't really sleep because uh, it was, you know, exciting to get drafted. And uh, right after, I took a couple of days off uh, and flew over to uh, to Vegas. I was stuck in the airport in Turkey for two days because I didn't have a waiver to come over to the States. So that was tough as well. Uh, but good. I'm just glad to be here. Glad to start the summer league off, uh, be with the teammates, get to know you guys. And um, it's been cool. Tough, but cool process as well. On draft night specifically, what was your reaction when you found out that you were going to come to the Sixers? What did that feel like? How, how did that work? Yeah, it was really good because, uh, I mean, a lot of teams – uh, have draft picks, and uh, Philly was definitely one of the team, one of the teams uh, we thought would be a good fit for me. So you're trying to like not go somewhere that you don't know what the situation looks like. So yeah, when I heard it's Philly, it was definitely a relaxing moment, and I was just happy and excited, you know, to to be part of a, such such a good organization. Let's go next to Kai Carlin. Hey, what's going on, Philip? Just, um, I'm, I'm just curious, uh, what, what, what were the conversations like uh, with Doc and Daryl? What, what were they kind of uh, expecting out of you at all? Uh, it was really quick, it was brief. Uh, they just say, said they're gonna have a good plan for me, whatever that's gonna be, you know? Uh, haven't talked much more uh, about that. I guess my agent's taking care of that, but they just said their message was they're gonna have a good plan for me. Uh, it's on me to just keep working hard, keep getting better, and uh, yeah, that's it. And then uh, I don't know how much of the Sixers have you watched, but um, I want to get your thoughts on now possibly playing with a guy like Joel. Yeah, I mean, he's he's one of the best bigs in the NBA, you know, uh, so it would definitely be uh, a lot of fun and uh, I'll be able to learn a lot for sure. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to Philly. Noah, you're up. Hey, Philip, welcome. Uh, just following up on the expectations, what, what are your expectations for yourself? What kind of NBA player uh, do you think you can become? Yeah, well, I always try to set as high expectations as I can. So mine would be to just get to the NBA as fast as possible, start learning, start getting the experience as a young guy, and uh, just find, finding my role. And, uh, you know, I want to be a starter one day. I want to be I want to be on a team that's competing for championships, and I want to, you know, be able to contribute.